Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're getting ready for the I'm at and biology feels a little scary, don't worry, I have got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the most important biology topics you really need to know. And guess what? I will show you some super simple ways to study them smarter, not harder. Okay, let's talk about why biology is such a big deal in the IMAT. So, biology has the most questions on the test, like 18 out of 60. So, that's a big chunk. So, if you do well in biology, your overall score can go way up. So, and that's the awesome news. So, here is the best part. Most of the biology questions are the things you already learned in school, secondary school or high school. So don't stress, you already know more than you think. Now let's take a look at the most important topics of uh, biology in the IMAT. So the first topic is cell biology. In cell biology, you need to study uh, the cell structure in which you study organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes, etc. So next year, uh, you learn in cell biology about cell functions and the cell division in which you learn about mitosis, meiosis. So topic number two is genetics. So in genetics, you will learn about DNA and RNA, the genetic code, uh, inheritance like Mendelian genetics, uh, mutation, uh, the genetic disorders. So the third topic is human biology. In which you learn, I think that's the most important topic in the IMAT syllabus uh, because majority of the questions come from the human biology in which you learn about human anatomy and physiology, the structure and the function of major organs and the system uh, like uh, digestive, respiratory, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, uh, digestive system, excretory system. Topic number four is enzyme and metabolism in which you learn about enzyme structure, uh, the enzyme activity, the metabolism. Topic number five is biological molecules. In biological molecules, you, you need to learn about the proteins like amino acids, peptide bonds, uh, carbohydrates, lipids, uh, nucleic acids. So topic number six is evolution and natural selection. So in evolution and natural selection, you need to uh, uh, learn about the theory of evolution, adaptation, uh, speciation, uh, evolutionary evidence. So yeah, so topic number seven is ecology. In ecology, you will learn ecological principles, biodiversity, uh, human impact on the environment. And the topic number eight is immunology. So in the immunology, you will learn about the immune system, immune response, uh, vaccines, etc. So, in topic number nine is biotechnologies. In biotechnology, you will learn about the genetic engineering, uh, PCR and gel electroprocess, cloning. So, topic number ten is plant biology. So, in plant biology, we learn about the plant structure, um, photosynthesis, plant transport, and the topic number eleven is human health and diseases. Uh, this is uh, this topic is about uh, nutritional needs, uh, diseases, uh, immune system and diseases like the role of immunity in defense against diseases. So tip number one is use colorful diagrams like drawing the pictures with the, uh, bright colors help your brain remember better and draw and try to drawing cells, body system or DNA with labels. It's fun and it sticks in your memory. So tip number two is practice with realignment questions. So don't just read your notes, try realignment questions, use past papers. Uh, it shows you how the test works and what kind of questions to expect. And also I, in, at my website, I'm also, um, uh, you know, revealing quiz for you guys. So you can actually uh, practice timed IMAT questions. So just wait, when I will publish, I will definitely uh, uh, tell you about this. So tip number three is teach someone else. Try explaining uh, a topic to your little brother, sister, or even your pets. Uh, if you can teach it simply, it means you really uh, understand it. Tip number four, make short flashcards. So write a question on one side and answer on the back. 
So use them to quiz yourself every day, even for just 10 minutes. Tip number five is don't just memorize, understand the why. Instead of just uh, remembering facts, uh, try to understand why things happen. For example, why do enzymes speed up reactions? Why do lungs need oxygen? This makes it easier to answer quickly question in the exam. So use these tips and you will remember things faster and for longer. Uh, and that's a wrap up for today. And now you know what to study uh, uh, for bio I'm at biology and how to study smart just like a pro. But wait, I have something uh, super cool to help you even more. So whenever you try to solve the I'm at mock exam, so you just need to calculate on the web on my website. So like just search I'm at score calculator just click it and you will find this website so just click it and this website is open so like if you solve this question okay if you solve uh, the I'm at mock exam and you uh, you got uh, almost 50 uh, i mean 40 correct answers suppose 40 correct answers and you got almost uh, 20 wrong answers so what is your imet score so just calculate and your estimated imet score will be there so yeah that's the thing for you so just type in your answer and it will show your estimated score in seconds and super easy and super helpful the link i will put also in the description box and you can also search it on the google so see you in the next video good luck bye